Hello, I'm Carl Schumacher, editor and chief blogger with MobileWirelessJobs.com. Today we are at the 4G World 2009 Conference at McCormick Place, Chicago. We're interviewing Kevin Suter, Vice President Corporate Marketing at Redline Communications. Kevin, please tell me a little bit about Redline Communications products and why you have chosen 4G World 2009 as a place that you're going to be showing your products. So. Good afternoon, Carl. So we uh, we chose 4G World. We've exhibited since the very first 4G World when it was called WiMAX World. Uh, started in Boston at the Park Plaza. It's one of our anchor uh, events that we do every year because it's right on point to mobile broadband. And so it's a great event to come here. Everybody in the ecosystem is here. Our customers come in from Latin America, from the Middle East, Canada, along with all of our U.S. customers. So it's a good central meeting point. Chicago is a great city, and uh, we, uh, you know, we come here and make our major announcements for the year. Start right here. Great. Well, as a uh, Chicagoan, I agree with you. It's a great place to have a symposium. Um, What's the buzz with your company right now? What's going on? What's exciting? Um, why do people want to know about Redline in, at this point in time? Sure. So Redline's a world leader in WiMAX technology. We have about 170 operators worldwide who use Redline technology to run their networks. Uh, here at the show, we're announcing a brand new product that we developed that we think is directly on point for the rural broadband stimulus money, the American Reinvestment and Recovery Act of 2009. This $7.2 billion is going to go for taking broadband out to the unserved and the underserved. So we brought out a new product called the SC100E. It's a mobile WiMAX base station, very high powered, and what it's designed to do is really make it more cost effective to get a lot of bandwidth out into the hinterland, which is what the Obama administration really wants to see happen with, uh, with these technologies and with the stimulus money. Thank you. Um, as you know, Mobile Wireless Jobs is a job site. Uh, we post opportunities as well as content on helping people get a job. Um, so I'm going to direct a few questions along those lines. How do you feel 4G World and the presentations of the various technologies in it will impact hiring in the future. So this is an environment where there's a tremendous amount of uh, consumption of knowledge and brains. So uh, it's the convergence of wireless that has traditionally been a TDM, very old school type technology with IP. So a lot of the people in the industry who formerly were working in routing companies, in switching companies, are now moving over to 4G, taking a look at broadband wireless technologies for basically IP over the air. And so it's a great opportunity for those with routing experience, switching experience, and they want to get into a hot new technology. If you take a look, I think one of the most exciting things that's happening is the iPhone, the new wireless enabled netbooks, the, all of these are going to become platforms, devices for uh, growth and expansion of the user base in broadband. And there's going to be a lot of work done in the background, right? You know, wireless is almost going to be like a duck, right? On the top, everything's nice and calm. Everybody's, and underneath, right? Your feet are moving like hell. <laughs> right? So that's, uh, that's really what, uh, what we think is happening. A good opportunity, lots of jobs. We continue to hire. Others in the industry continue to hire as we evolve this standard forward over time. Great. Well, that leads me to my next question is, where in the next six months to a year will Redline be hiring people? And what, what areas? So our plans would be uh, predominantly around deployment people. So going in project management, project planning, network architecture, network design, systems engineering. So how do we get the product from being here at a show like this to, you know, we sell it, now we've got to deploy it. And so a lot of it will go into deployment expertise and we'll be hiring in, uh, in Toronto, we'll be hiring in the United States, we'll be hiring in Europe to support our customers around the world. Excellent. So, one of the things that um, has been a common question we find on our website is 
what type of positions are, are the most difficult to hire for? Where are you finding that maybe you can only find 75% of the quality of this person and that there's that missing ingredient? Um, and with that in mind, um, you know, what is that missing ingredient? So probably the most difficult hires we have are actually software engineering talent. Uh, to find people who can code uh, very effectively, very efficiently, uh, hit dates and hit targets, and uh, work with the digital signal processing technologies that we use to basically write very good software and firmware to enable the products behind. Then I guess the second toughest area to find is uh, sales and sales engineering talent that understands both the complexities of the IP world and the differences in the RF world. So those are somewhat difficult and challenging hires when we, when we make those. Thank you. Um, over the past year, uh, with the recession and downsizing and layoffs, um, how have you seen that impact the industry that you're involved with? So, you know, the last year has been uh, has been challenging. Uh, you know, I, I always like to say that uh, flat is the new up. Uh, from our viewpoint, we uh, we did a restructuring last December uh, of uh, maybe 20% of our workforce. Uh, the result has been a reinvigorated company. We've looked at the organization. We strengthened it in certain areas. That hasn't stopped us from hiring back in after we did it and, and sort of said, okay, here are the people that are extraneous, now we're going to hire the people we need to really execute on our business model. So, you know, we're, uh, we're actually about 25% uh, of the people we let go, we've replaced that headcount with uh, new hires doing new things for the company to execute on our business strategy. So basically you got a little bit more lean and mean. Okay, good. So, um, if you were to try and differentiate yourself from your competitors, the people who are similar to you in the marketplace, what would you say is the real main difference between what Redline does and you know, maybe some of your competitors? So at Redline, we've got a, a laser focus on supporting broadband initiatives in emerging markets using WiMAX and broadband wireless infrastructure technology. We know the emerging market is probably the largest single market opportunity in the world for what we build. And as we move forward through time, we see a tremendous opportunity in the United States due to a national broadband infrastructure program. We look at applications like Smart Grid, we look at transportation, homeland security initiatives, along with the communications market that's represented by the people who are here at 4G World. Great. Are there any other things that maybe we haven't covered that you'd like to talk to a little bit about? Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for interviewing with me. This is Carl with Mobile Wireless Jobs. We'll catch you next time.